Okay, so we're going to be doing a podcast here, so you're going to have to be not quite so jingly and maybe go and have a little nap somewhere, eh? Okay, I know it's your, oh, oh no, it's going to be, is this podcast going to be about dogs? <laughs> <laughs> the podcast is not going to be about dogs. We should have a podcast about dogs. Yeah, we got yeah. a podcast about everything else. Why yeah, not about dogs about too, dogs, right? About dogs, about dogs, eh? All right. Okay, Chili, you going to go lie down? Okay. Okay, let's stop with all the licking, because I don't know what you were licked last. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Leslie Taylor Show. <laughs> it's the, l no, it's not. <laughs> Is it the Leo Troy Show? <laughs> it's the, no, it's Lunchbox. It's Lunchbox Sociables, where we talk about everything music. But funny enough, uh, someone did ask me, is there going to be more of the Leslie Taylor show? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> did you miss me in your last video? Uh, I, yes, I did miss you. Uh, that last video, you know, because of what I was trying to, to do uh, with the, the monitor, uh, I did it all on my own. Um, but I missed you because I had no one asking me questions and no one, uh, you know, no one being the straight guy f for me to be able to, to joke around. So it was pretty, uh, it was pretty, uh, So you calm. just had to make yourself laugh. Yes. I tell to, yourself I little tried to, jokes. I tried to, and I caught myself a few times making silly jokes yeah. to myself, but, uh, it's, it's, it's more funner okay. uh, to have you. So I have to stop you before we continue. What's with the black t-shirt on the black background, Leo? Like, did oh. we learn nothing from all the previous podcasts that we've oh. done you're like blending <laughs> okay. into the background goof. maybe i haven't missed you as much as you think i have <laughs> you've <laughs> learned nothing oh uh, you haven't missed you at all <laughs> all right so what have you been up to leo since last time we were together or even maybe since then since your uh, last video well since the last uh since the last podcast uh Working on a, uh, a new release, uh, Cool Ryan, which is going to be coming out uh, this week. So I, whenever this comes out, the Cool Ryan will probably already out because it takes me forever just to edit these podcasts. Uh, so a lot of time and effort went into the uh, Cool Ryan production and the, uh, the video for that. Uh, and uh, went for a trip down to uh, Arizona, uh, Nevada, and Utah. Most of it was in Arizona. And that was such, uh, that was such a, a great trip. Tell me about that. There was, um, I did uh, uh, lots of uh, hiking around uh, different canyons, lots of mileage. Uh, we did uh, almost 2,500 kilometers and, uh, you know, saw lots of, lots of the countryside. It gave me lots of ideas for a new, uh, you know, ideas for new songs. Uh, and I took a lot of video, a lot of drone video, a lot of uh, just regular video. Uh, so it's making me think about uh, uh, redoing, um, uh, re-editing a video for uh, one of my one of the songs that was released, uh, "Drive Forever," and uh, so I might update it. Uh, I might update all the 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 before it escape with all this uh, Toyota 4Runner uh, into the uh, into the video. Oh, the 4Runner is that what you were driving yeah, when you yeah. were in oh, it was, uh, in it Arizona? It was great. It was great. So uh, there was some a uh, couple of hairy moments. I'm way off in the wilderness <laughs> driving this 4Runner on these old roads, and I'm thinking, oh boy, if I get in trouble here, I got no cell service on my Samsung S3. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I'm all by myself. And just uh, yeah, but uh, so I, I might uh, I might do that. But uh, it was uh, it was a good uh, it was a really good experience. Yeah, and you talked before about liking to have a lot of stock footage like yeah. stock video yeah. and things like that yeah. so you've got a lot of stuff so I anticipate in the next probably 12 months we'll be seeing yeah. this Arizona stuff yeah. come up a lot yeah. in your videos there, there's well there's I've got stock footage now going back several years I it's got to get used up soon before you know it gets too stale but so it uh, could be 10 years before we start seeing <laughs> some of this Arizona yeah, stuff yeah, is that yeah, what you're saying it, it could be but I I really want to I'd really like to use the Arizona stuff uh uh, soon because there's just some there's some drone stuff that are just just so priceless especially when you know the uh, the local sheriff uh, the big white sheriff vehicle works its way into the one of the drone shots like oh yeah that's got, I got to use that <laughs> that's got to get used so uh, I'm looking forward to that so you mentioned uh, drive forever uh, you had some woes around that <sighs> song what uh, what's yeah. going on with that yeah so uh, at some point uh, early in the new year I was uh, just, you know, we, you know, because I haven't 
aggregator. Aggravator. Uh, yeah, and uh, they they met you know, as an amateur musician. You upload all your songs to them. They distribute it to all the streaming services. There's like 150 different streaming services and stores they distribute it to. And uh, I noticed, although I was just going through one day, and I go, oh, hold on a second here, what's going on? Drive Forever had been pulled. And so I reached out to them. And this might be actually end up being a, a good tip for any other amateur uh, artists. Uh, uh, and they said, oh yeah, there's a copyright, uh, there's a copyright issue. And so we're, you know, we're pulling your song. I go, oh, hold on. So over the next couple of weeks, it just went back and forth and back and forth. And they, you know, they weren't, um, they were just saying, oh, you, you know, we have a, they wouldn't tell me what the problem was. I said, well, I can't fix it. Is it, it. the aggravator that was telling you this? Yes. Okay. And, and so it wasn't like Apple Music or no, Spotify no, no, that it was, was, it, it was yeah, the aggravator. Okay. As I would find out. So, um, so my tip here is, uh, if, if you find yourself in the same situation you got to keep after them and keep after them and, and don't let it uh don't let it uh you know go with them they say oh, okay there's a copyright thing okay i guess that song's not gonna and um and and and, and actually well it wasn't until uh i sent one more letter and i used the name of the uh the, the president of the company saying, you know, she was, uh, she's on YouTube talking about how you support the little guy. Well, here, I'm the little guy, you know, support me, you know, let's figure this out. And I sent them all the information, especially that particular song. I go, of all songs you want to say there's a copyright infringement, I got a copy of that from like the early 90s. <laughs> so <laughs> I wasn't the least bit worried that I had taken someone else's, uh, uh, else's song. Uh, but that we should we should talk about the there's something in the news recently. About I was going to ask you about okay. that okay, about we'll Ed Sheeran. That. Okay, yeah. yeah, we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, I supplied them, all, you know, previous versions, uh, and I just it kept with it. And eventually they came back and said, "Yeah, we we see that this uh, this this claim against your song is fraudulent." Did and they tell you who had made the claim uh, against it, your song? It, it, it was not. It wasn't a person's name. It was. It was like a production company oh. of some sort. Um, but it. And, and then and then they just said it was fraudulent. So maybe there are you know there are scammers out there. Like there's scammers everywhere, right? And uh, so, okay, this song's got a whole bunch of views because that was the song that, you know, it, it had ramped up a whole, like thousands of views, uh, th thousands of streams, I'm sorry. And all of a sudden, that's the song that you know, now has a copyright uh, mm. thing against it. But they, they shown it was, they, they said it was fraudulent. Uh, but so don't give up if you have, a, have that problem because they, they just want to like say, oh no, uh, stick with it. Yeah, so the, the, the Ed Sheeran, thing that's in the news right now is about how he's being sued by Marvin Gaye's family, I yeah, guess, or yeah, estate, whatever, yeah. for saying yeah. that uh, Ed Sheeran's song, Thinking Out Loud, is a copyright or a, a, a rip yeah. off of what's going on by Marvin Gaye. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Uh, and I mean, even uh, it, this goes back so to the Beatles, yes, well, not uh, the Beatles, George, but George, George Harrison, Harrison and with, all of uh, that. Uh, My Sweet Lord uh, sounding so much like... Uh, He's so uh, fine. He's so fine. So I have a couple of thoughts then on that. Um, one is, if, you, if I like the person, uh, I'm kind of supporting him. So I quite like George Harrison. So like, yeah, yeah, he's good. Ed Sheeran. Mm. <laughs> so he's a I, very talented <laughs> singer-songwriter. I totally ripped him off. Yeah. Uh, uh, so a couple, you know, my thoughts, you know, there's only so many notes. There's, you know, uh, 12 notes when you had, add in the sharps and the flats. So there's 12 notes. There's going to be times where things are going to get close or are going to get similar. But what uh, kind of amazes me that both in both in these instances, the songs that they are alleged to have kind of ripped off a bit are really well-known songs. Wouldn't somebody in all that time during production say, hey, George, uh, this sounds a little bit like... Uh, like the he, Shirelles. Yeah. yeah. So, and same thing with Ed Sheeran. It's, uh, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they're what they wouldn't have known beforehand somebody would have said to them hey and then you know tinker with it a little bit i i i find some of these these kind um interesting because i go how come um what's that numb nuts name uh vanilla vanilla <laughs> vanilla ice vanilla ice when he totally ripped off under pressure oh but that's yeah that's different because they're sampling so in that case i think they either they get permission or they okay. give credit on the album and there, there to, was another uh, guy um that song, Valerie, by... Um, um, Elvis Costello? No, no. Oh. Um, 
uh, when you see oh, a that's chance, Allison. take it. Oh, Steve Winwood. Uh, Steve Winwood. Yeah. There's some guy just totally ripped off Valerie. I was listening to one day, I go, that sounds a lot like Valerie. And then I went and Googled it, and there's other people saying the same thing. I go, how come that guy didn't? But maybe it's like you were saying that they, they sample a bit of it, but I go, wow, uh, it certainly does sound like it. But anyway, back to your... Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I'm left with mixed feelings because as a songwriter, um, I wouldn't want someone to be stealing my stuff. But as a songwriter, I'm also thinking, well, I wasn't, didn't steal, you know, that guy's, that, you know, I didn't, don't even know that song. So I'm kind of caught seeing both sides of it. I certainly wouldn't want my, my material copied. But, you know, I kind of think, well, I, you know, I might very well come up with something someday that someone says, well, that sounds a lot like so-and-so. And I go, oh, you're right, it does. Uh, so. So we're recording this on uh, May 2nd, a uh, day after the news came out that yeah. legendary singer-songwriter, Canadian icon. Poet uh, laureate. Poet laureate, um, Gordon Lightfoot passed away. Mm. Uh, what kind of influence did he have on you as a musician? Oh, Ah, a, a huge influence. Uh, uh, if you could read my mind, uh, always, uh, we had it on a, on a list that was my favorite uh, song by a Canadian, uh, a song that makes, you know, may, tears come to my eyes. His skill at, at the lyrics, both, you know, harmonies, music, uh, the lyrics, a huge uh, influence. There was one song... Uh, Lunchbox Social even did, and I, and I always claim that I, I, I don't do any cover songs, and uh, that's one of the very few. Is Which one? Carefree Highway. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. I keep thinking that's called Every Highway. <laughs> that's what I've been singing to <laughs> myself all these every years. Every, every, every Highway. Hi yeah, that's what it sounds like, <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? it does. Yeah, I can hear, I can hear that. Yeah. yeah, so it was... Uh, that was it was sad but you uh, did a different version of that oh, song oh yeah we, we we cranked we cranked the speed up to the point that most people didn't know what i could it could sit when we would play some people go oh wait a second i recognize that song now that yeah we did almost like a punk rock version of uh, of of the song but it's such a fabulous uh fabulous uh, songwriter yeah uh, he gets a uh, or used to get a bad rap his sort of nickname was three chord gourd what are your thoughts on that i i challenge that i, I challenge that because i remember learning carefree highway and going oh there's like nine chords here i'm going to have to try and remember which is not easy for me so uh yeah no i think he's uh, i think he you know writes uh complicated songs i wonder if because you know uh, folk uh Folk, folk uh, songwriters, country songwriters, they always get a, you know, that rap of but only having, uh, you know, three chords. But then again, so does Springsteen. So uh, if you're, you're in good company, <laughs> if anyone wants to say, oh, Leo, you're right like, uh, you're right like Lightfoot or you're right like Springsteen, I'll take that any day. Yeah. So uh, no, no problem with that. Yeah. Sometimes simpler is better. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. The other thing I remember about him is... Uh, or at least it's more from my perspective, I don't always remember the lyrics to songs, even yeah. if I can sing along yeah. to a song. I don't even know the words that are coming out of my mouth. And it's only like in the last day that I've been sort of re-listening to a lot of his music and looking at the lyrics. I'm like, oh my God, that is just, like it is, it's poetic, was right? A, was there a song that hit you that with the great lyrics? Rainy Day People. Ah. I mean, I've been kind of, you know, I'd hum that song or sing that song or whatever, and I had no idea. Rainy Day People always seem to know when it's time to yeah. call. Yeah. They don't talk. They just listen uh, till they've heard it all. Yeah. I mean, that is lines, eh? oh, so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so got, I'm good. getting a little bit teary I know. We <laughs> all want rainy day people in our lives, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. we better move on because I'm not going to. I'm going to get all <laughs> verklempt. <laughs> okay. All right, we're recording. Why does it smell so good in here? Because eh? I, I brought you treats. What did you bring? I brought you bread. Homemade bread? Homemade bread. Sourdough? Yes. Oh, can you go get it? Go get it. I want to I want to go okay. go put okay, the you keep take, talking. take the headphones off. So for uh Leslie's a fabulous baker and uh I will pl I will Okay, oh she can't hear me with it. <laughs> I will plug her uh would you say website? Would you say your Instagram page? What would be the best thing In to Instagram. plug? Instagram. Instagram. And and what is uh I no recipe required dot ca no recipe required dot ca i guess we're both in front of microphones so i don't know why i was re i don't know why i'm repeating what you did so let's, let's 
Oh my God, look at this. Wow. Zoom in. Oh, can you zoom in? Can you zoom in? Zoom in. Yeah. Zoom, in? Zoom, in. Yeah. zoom in. I'm zooming. Zoom in. Can you see it? Yeah. The size, the size of my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of bread. Oh. Oh, you know what? It's still a little bit warm. It is. That's why I can smell it. Oh. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, well I'll be, I'll be slicing that up and hiding it from everybody. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You mentioned that uh, Cool Rian was your favorite song to produce. What does what does that mean to produce? Because it's a term you hear around a lot, right? Yeah. Every um, young man is a producer okay. these days. So, <laughs> um, like in a movie, the director kind of oversees everything, uh, and the producers in, in movies are really the money guys. Um, in music, the producer kind of oversees everything. And there are some musicians who are also the producers of their music, and there's other musicians, the songwriters, that, that, that have a producer work uh, with them or take over completely and let them, you know, decide where to go with the, with the song. Um, I've all, I, I have had a producer uh, a few times in my life, and I learned some things from them. And then... Uh, uh, I've always, from that point on, I just kind of always been a, a self-producer, but a good tip for anyone getting started, or getting going is, uh, if you don't go with a producer and you're just going to go like, you know, produce stuff yourself, work with a good engineer, work with a good engineer who has ideas and, and not just knit, cause some engineers will just say, where do you want, you know, what, how, how do you want everything set? You know, do you want more of this? Do you want more of that? And then you're, it'll be stressful. But if you work with a, a good engineer who's always, you know, who wants to to give you uh, ideas, and uh, I, I know we did a couple of albums with uh, a, a, like a, a studio engineer, and he was great. He g gave us so many suggestions of how we could would would get to things, and the, to the point where, like, okay, I think I can do a, a lot of that. Um, it you need to be able to talk to be able to be able to talk and express what you're after, though. So it's it's hard to if you can't say oh I, you know where where you want to hear different frequencies or there's too much reverb or there's you know different sounds I, like hey, I want to hear things differently left and right so you got to be able to be comfortable in being able to express your where you want the the song to go uh, be able to express you know the, your vision for the song and if you can get that you can try you know you try it you know try uh that, that and then if you if in the end the song is is what you 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 you, you know if you, the final product is close to what you imagine it to be then you're you're on your way um but i'd also say be, be you know and i think i've said this before on podcasts is is, is be open uh let people uh, I, I know my style is definitely, I have a direction I want to go, but tell me your thoughts again. Tell mm -hmm. me what you, you think. Let's, and then as good plenty of times, some of the songs have gone off in completely different directions because I said, Oh yeah, I had an idea, but I like your idea more. So let's, let's go off, uh, th that way. It's only if I really, really, really s feel strong about something, I go, yeah, okay. But I really want to do it this way. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so it's, uh. It's, uh, and, and like producers, a good producer is going to cost a lot of money. Uh, a, a low budget producer is going to, you know, obviously going to cost you less. Um, but you got to give up that control to them. And if you're a control freak like me, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a little hard. Uh, but I, you know, I would love to work. Oh my God. I would love to work with like a, like a, um, like a uh, Daniel Lanois. Uh, no, or uh, yes. But, uh, uh, um, Brian Eno. No. George uh, Martin. No, keep going. Uh, uh, Jeff Lynn. Oh, Jeff I Lynn. Would okay. Oh my gosh, uh, that would be. Uh, uh, did I just say oh my gosh? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a dream come true. It would be a dream come true to work with Jeff Lynn because he what he can do with acoustic guitars, how he, how and that's uh, that's always been my. Oh, I can't quite can't quite get the acoustic guitar to sound the way that uh, uh, I would I, w I would like it to uh, like it to sound. So I would love to know the tips and tricks how he uh, gets the acoustic guitar to sound so uh, amazing. Who's this visiting you? Hey, little Miss Miss Mrs. Bojangles. Hey, yes. Hey, sweetie. This is Leslie's dog, Chili. Chili, though I call her Rio. Other people call her Lucy. Her name came, what was her original name? Minnie. Minnie. So she, she, she doesn't know who, 
No. She doesn't know who she's come from. She goes, are we doing a podcast for dogs? <laughs> no, it's a podcast on music. She goes, we need a podcast for dogs. Look at that. Can you see her? Yeah. Is she on the camera? Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, thank you very much for this, uh, this podcast. Uh, thank you, Leslie, for uh, joining, coming, coming back and joining. And uh, the dog sniffing me. Um, it was uh, a pleasure. I was happy to be back. Okay, good. It's nice to be wanted. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back uh, in, a, in a. We'll be back again with a few more podcasts because this uh, we have a few more to go for this season, and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.